For many young adults, college represents a great period of change in which they are allotted more freedom and self-agency than ever before. However, college also represents a time in which students are vulnerable to substance abuse. A study conducted in 2016 by the National Center for Biotechnology Information indicates that over 60% of college students have consumed alcohol in a 39% report engaging in binge drinking. Substance abuse on campus isn't limited to just alcohol. Georgia College's own student data by the National College Health Assessment reveals that nicotine products and cannabis represent a bigger risk for students where over 22% of them have used the latter before. Many students believe they can balance school, work, and abuse of substances, but are they aware of the outcomes that can result from it? I spoke with Rachel Pope, the campus health educator at the Wellness Center, to find out about the negative outcomes that stem from substance abuse. You are engaging in going downtown repeatedly, um, consistently for more than um, two times a week. That's affecting your sleep habits, that's affecting your study habits, and it's affecting your diet. And students don't always put all those things together, that that is why they're feeling bad. It's not just because you were drinking. With all those potential negative outcomes, why do some students still insist on going downtown several times a week? We asked Alu Phillips, a Georgia College student, what he thinks causes students to abuse substances. Um, most likely due to peer pressures or just having like an outlet or like a coping mechanism is what I would say. But what are the resources that Georgia College offers to those struggling? Rachel Pope explains. Students are always welcome to talk to their academic advisors. If a student recognizes another student is having problems, let's say they're not coming to class, they seem to be making poor decisions with alcohol and drugs, uh, or just with their people group that they might be hanging out with, putting themselves in some dangerous situations. Students can refer themselves, someone else, to the care team, which is a group of people on campus that really look into each student's well-being. If a student on campus is suffering from substance abuse or knows someone who is, we recommend reaching out to the available resources on campus. Reporting for G3360, I'm Jonathan Gregg.